Welcome back to Three Point Firefighter, Firefighter Shorts. Today, I got Ty Rondo here with me. Ty, let me ask you something. Brand new firefighter. Hadn't started the academy yet. He's got a start date. What advice do you have for him? Uh, you know, first thing is, make sure you got your ducks in a row. Make sure you're in the right, right mindset before you go in there. Uh, make sure you know that you're going to be putting in a lot of hard work. You're there to learn. It uh, doesn't matter what kind of experience or time you have beforehand. You're always going to learn something new from somebody, right? Uh, and just keep your head down and you grind and you're going to pick up a lot of things uh, by listening, not by talking. Um, also, at the same time, it, understand that you are learning a new culture, a new family, and it's going to better you in the long run. All right, Ty, what about this? Now, they've graduated. They've done a year on the job. They're out of their probation. They're hitting the houses. They've been there for, like say, for a year, and they're getting really, really comfortable with their job. What do you think about that? Well, minus the getting comfortable with your job, you're pretty much talking about the position I'm in currently right now. <laughs> and uh, the biggest thing is, you know, like that from what I was always told and, and the, the outlook I have on it, you know, your probationary year is there to prove yourself to your crew. And that two to five year range after your probationary year is what really sets you apart and really sets your name in, in, in your fire department, in your own firehouse. Uh, what kind of work ethic you have, right? Um, you still have a lot to learn on the job. Uh, again, it doesn't matter how much time on you had before or somewhere else, you're still learning whole new culture that current departments SOGs operations you can always get better at the job every day and learn the craft so uh you know maybe down the road in 20 years that's when you can kind of relax and be that recliner pilot and hang out and <laughs> tell them there's a lot of stuff to do wax the rig clean the tools read the SOGs train 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 right you Can't can train enough for a job that kills right? you right yeah <laughs> okay one last question brand new guy what conference should they go to first if they can only go to one conference a year what would you recommend for the new firefighter uh, brand new guy in the fire service, I would highly recommend Fire Department Training Network's live fire camp, right? Six stations, it's three days, really aggressive work, um, realistic live fire conditions. Uh, it gets you uh, a search station. It gets you firefighter survival. It gets you writ. It gets you basement fires, engine and truck side. It gets you hoarder fires, engine and truck side, uh, and also forced entry under live fire conditions. Uh, it gives you many aspects that you will help build and, and hone in your craft and put you in, you know, stressful fires that not like your, your training fires in the academy. These things are hot and they are going to burn you if you don't do the right things and teach you, prepare you for your career. Brother Ty, I appreciate your time and thank you for your help. Thank you.